Hi guys, so you may have noticed recently I've got a tad excited and it's all over this Warhammer 40k kill team um, Yeah, I've never been so excited. Uh, I'm just loving it. Uh, I haven't played a game yet But obviously that will be happening very soon as I wanted to obviously paint my figures and obviously starting with the orcs because well orcs are the best So yeah, let's get into it as there are lots of parts It's obviously worth getting the uh, the instruction booklet out and going through it uh, but obviously there's these, well, non-orcs at the front of this book, don't know what they're all about. Um, so yeah, here we go, here's the orcs. So I've assembled a couple, and the thing I really love about these models is there's sort of two varieties of everything. Uh, which is great, because obviously it means I'm, I'm going to have lots of spare bits left over. But it's great that you can customise your team to look, obviously, well, how you want, really. So yeah, simple case of uh, finding the number, cutting it out. Um, so I did that with all the figures. I basically went through and got all the parts for that sort of one figure uh, But then sometimes it was a case of well, where's this number? Because um, obviously as anyone knows with the Warhammer stuff their numbers don't go in order They are just well higgledy piggledy all over the shop um, Even to the extent that some of the parts uh, were on different sprues, which is uh, very weird uh, But yeah rather than obviously complaining about that I kind of embraced the fact that they were all over the place and yeah, just saw that as a game. So yeah, the figures come out obviously quite well. There's a few little bits here and there that just need trimming off. Uh, this is obviously mainly the bits where they're connected to the sprues. Sometimes there are sort of like lines or join lines in the figure. Uh, but generally, they come out pretty well. And it's just a little bit of scraping here and there. Just to uh, get them bits nice and smooth. Uh, and ready for gluing. So I will eventually do some kit bashing on some of the miniatures. Uh, but obviously as these are sort of the first ones I've kind of got, I don't really have much in the way of a bits box. So yeah, these are going to be assembled um, as is. Um, I have previously mentioned that I am looking at doing a sort of like a Judge Dread kind of team. Uh, so basically made up of judges. So that will be kit bashed, so I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, once all the bits are nice and clean, simple bit of gluing. I'm using the good old cement glue as this stuff is just fantastic. Uh, obviously it doesn't stick to your fingers that much, or it doesn't stick your fingers to anything. And obviously it sort of melts the uh, bits of plastic a little bit into each other. Uh, which obviously makes for a great bond, which is, uh, which is perfect. So yeah, obviously Games Workshop figures, they always seem to go well together. Uh, they are definitely well made, highly detailed. Uh, maybe a little bit on the expensive side, but hey ho, sometimes you have to put up with that to obviously get, uh, get a good quality. And yeah, it's um, yeah, just a case of repeating that sort of process for all the figures. So with the Orcs, there's uh, there's ten of the chaps, which is awesome. And I say each one uh, definitely has two sort of very variable options of how they look, uh, which is great. Um, I'm mainly going for anyone that has a combination of a gun and like a sword. That's kind of what uh, floats my boat. So that's what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, it's just a case of keep going through and yeah, get the bits out. So there's not many orcs that actually have nothing on their face. So this is one of them. Because um, as you guys know, I just absolutely love the look of orcs. Uh, all the others do have masks. Uh, which again is pretty cool though, because they kind of then look like they're from Mad Max. Uh, which I think makes them look even cooler. Let me know if you guys play Warhammer 40k Kill Team. Uh, and obviously which teams you prefer. Or do you play like all of them. Um, as I say, I am looking at probably getting all the teams, well, eventually. Obviously not straight away, because that would just cost me, well, an arm and a leg. Um, but yeah, I am looking at getting all the teams, just because I think it'll help me to sort of be better at attacking a team if you know what their strengths and their weaknesses are. So as you can see here, yeah, this, this, <laughs> this is my bits box. Um, it's a bit small at the moment, but obviously that will get bigger. Who are, madam? Um, yeah, so guys, obviously I've asked you guys if you send me some sprues, which you guys are, so obviously I can do some sprue builds. Uh, but if you have any sort of like bits and pieces left over, uh, yeah, by all means, I would appreciate any kind of bits and pieces uh, that you guys may not or sort of no longer need. I would certainly uh, willingly take and yeah, and use. So getting these uh, these all ready for painting. Obviously, I'm gonna do like a batch painting, uh, which makes things obviously a lot easier and quicker. So I'm gonna get them all ready. Uh, and my preferred method of when I do paint is to put them onto uh, the cork. Uh, but obviously, as you can see, I'm not putting them on their bases. Um, you'll see the reason for that later on. Uh, apologies for the video, it keeps cutting in and out a little bit there. Not too sure what that's all about. Um, but yeah, so then I've got all my figures all, uh, all on their cork, uh, all ready to paint. And obviously having these bits of wire underneath just means I can get up and under them uh, a whole lot easier. So I'm going to try out the, uh, the slap chop uh, method of painting. 
Uh, just got, came across that a few days ago. It looked nice and quick and easy, and yeah, I like the sound of that. Ah, but obviously we got all these lovely sprues left over, and we all know that uh, rather than throwing them in the bin or leaving them in a box for 20 years, I like to uh, make things out of them. And in this case, these ones are going to go into my little jar of acetone and be turned into sprue goo. Because um, I do have a couple of sort of projects lined up, and I, I am obviously making the uh, the Thunderhawk at the moment uh, purely out of sprues. So it's pretty cool that I've got these sprues just so I can make some flat panels. Uh, but obviously that's another video, guys. But obviously if you are interested in what making things out of sprues, um, I do have well quite a lot of videos on my channel, so go check them out. And here's just a case of putting the sprues in the acetone. They dissolve, takes about seven, eight hours at least, and then I can turn that into, well, into all sorts. Um, I made a sprue burger, go check that out as well. Right, let's get back to my orcs. And as I say, I'm doing the, uh, the slap chop method, uh, which basically say, is really nice and simple. You get your figures, you, uh, you prime them in a black, and then you do a dry brush with some gray paint. Um, I don't think it really matters what kind of gray paint you use, obviously preferably a lighter color. And yeah, it is a case of dry brushing all over the little figures, uh, which is nice and easy to do. Um, so this is the first time me doing this, so I'm not too sure if I'm sort of like over brushing, under brushing, or just perfect brushing, who knows. Uh, but I'm really pleased with the end result, so that's the main thing that happens. Um, and I certainly enjoyed doing this method, and I'll certainly be doing this method, well, for everything I think, because uh, it is nice and quick. So yeah, as obviously I am doing like a batch process here, it is a case of doing one and then doing that to the next one. Uh, and then you go over with some white paint and do exactly the same, bit of dry brushing. Uh, but this time you do a bit less of it, so you really just catch uh, the very sort of like high protruding parts of the miniature. Um, so it is really just catching like, well, the highlights, obviously. Um, and yeah, the same sort of thing, do it to one uh, and then do it to another. But obviously you can see the difference between the white and the grey. The white certainly is more of a highlight uh, than the grey dry brushing I did previously. Um, and yeah, as I say, the end result I think looks really good. Um, although I did actually quite like the look of these figures uh, as a sort of the black and white sort of look. Um, I think they kind of look like they're uh, ninjas preparing for a, a nighttime assault on something. And the next part of the slap chop method is obviously painting them in the colours you want, uh, but using contrast paints and speed paints. And obviously the reason for using these is you can then see the uh, the well the, the highlights, low lights, dark lights, uh, whatever the lights are called <laughs> from underneath. So yeah, as simple as that. Prime in black, uh, light brush with grey, very light brush with white, and then slap on your paints. So yeah, lovely. If you've tried this method, guys, let me know in the comments how you got on uh, and if it's something that you'd do more of. I say I re really only saw this a few days ago. Uh, well, kind of when I saw the first videos uh, all about the kill team. So as you can see, I do sort of jump in <laughs> head first when I do uh, see something that I really like and enjoy. And yeah, give it a go. And yeah, I would definitely highly recommend this way of painting. Because um, it does take any sort of novice. It, it gets you um, your, your figures painted really quickly. And to a very good standard, which, uh, which is awesome. So yes, yeah, so if you have got a pile of shame... Um, this is one great way of uh, whizzing through that, but getting your figures uh, painted in a really good way that you'd want to show them off and obviously uh, be very proud of them. I just wanted to say a big thank you and a shout out to all my patrons for helping support the channel, as well as the sponsors, as it really does help me buy the things I need uh, to obviously produce more videos. So if you want to become a patron, there's a link down at the bottom, guys, and you will be seeing sort of behind the scenes pictures and photos and all that kind of stuff. Of what I'm currently working on. So batch painting a kill team really kind of is the way to go. Um, just because obviously then it means you just use one paint and you use that paint on all the figures and then when once that's done you then go on to the next paint and do that on all the figures. So one thing I haven't got and well I'm not sure if it is such a thing and that is obviously a contrast silver or any kind of sort of metallic colour as a, a contrast or speed paint. So I've basically watered down the silver that I have got by quite a bit. Um, just because I say, I still want to see, obviously, all these like highlights and all the rest of it coming through the paint. So yeah, the silver I'm using has been watered down, something rotten. Um, but some areas I have kept the silver a little bit stronger, just to sort of it's, uh, make that look, well, better really, I guess. Um, it's going to waffle on then about, I don't know what. Um, yeah, so these guys, almost all done now. Um, just their shirts to do. 
And well, my favorite color is orange. So I'm making all of mine have orange shirts, just so they have a little bit of sort of uniformity and look a little bit like they should be on the, uh, the same team. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually loving these orcs, loving the figures. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm loving the way these are, these are looking. So I've just got to paint the, uh, the non-orc team later. Uh, and then I'll be ready for my first game, which I'm actually going to be playing in a week's time. So yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but it does mean I need to get a crack on and obviously get the other team painted, as well as the terrain painted. Um, I will be making a board for the, uh, my kill teams eventually. Uh, but obviously at the moment it is just concentrating on getting everything painted. And yeah, everything's looking good. Obviously, say the silver that I did earlier, it does look kind of neat um, and tidy. Even though you still can see, obviously, the uh, the highlights coming through. I like my silver to be a bit more, well, a bit more dirtied up. So yeah, that's why I'm chucking on a good old wash. Um, just putting this on the silver because obviously everything else is looking great because obviously it's contrast paint and it's, uh, well, it's got its own kind of uh, highlights in it. So yeah, purely going over all the silver bits just to uh, to dirty them up. Um, and yeah, again, obviously I, I mean, I've, I've always loved washes and I've used them for well the last couple of years. But um, yeah, so washes, speed paints, uh, I think that could be my uh, my go-to paint now for, for everything. Just because, uh, well, quick, easy and very happy with the end result. And as I say, I'm really enjoying painting. Uh, for anyone who's been with my channel since I started a few years ago, um, you'd know that when I first started, I used to absolutely hate painting, never liked it, didn't enjoy it at all, um, and yeah, it was the one part of the hobby I didn't like. I used to love making things, just not the painting. But now, I love the painting, probably as much, if not more, than the, uh, the building. So obviously these orcs, I want to make them look like they've seen some battle. So I am just obviously adding a little bit of paint, uh, red sort of paint to their axes, to make it look like blood. And the graphing of this speed paint is obviously put a little dab on, uh, put your thumb over it, it sort of takes some of it off. So it then looks like it's dried paint. Um, so you have dried paint and then obviously add a few more little bits here and there to make it look like fresh paint. So uh, yeah, so these uh, these orcs have definitely been in the battles, um, seen some action and taken some heads off probably. And there we go, that's them all done. Very happy with the result. This is a case of now of putting them on their bases. So as I mentioned earlier on, I don't like sort of making up bases. I like to have the clear bases. Uh, and the reason for this is I like to be able to see what sort of terrain is underneath them. Uh, just because say I did put sort of a nice base on these and I made it a nice stone one, but then they, they're inside a spaceship, it wouldn't look right. Or if I gave them like a spaceship kind of base, but then they were on a, a, a muddy hill or a grassy hill, it wouldn't look right. So yeah, for me personally, I do love clear bases. So there we go, that's my first kill team nice and complete. Uh, and more so than that, so I've had this channel for two years. This is my first ever complete team of anything. Um, that I will actually be using to play. So yes, Warhammer 40k kill team, I absolutely love you. Um, yeah, very pleased with these. So guys, let me know in the comments how you thought these came out and what you think of these as well as the kill team in general. Um, yeah, leave plenty of comments guys because you know I like to read them. Hit that thumbs up button because that obviously helps YouTube's analytics and all the rest of it. Um, and if you're new here and you like what I do, please subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, but obviously it helps my channel out so much. So yeah, that's the Orcs done. Now I've got to get on to these, well, these non-Orcs. Um, yeah, there'll be a video out of them coming soon. Okay guys, that's it. Take care. Bye for now.